Ah, yes. Nothing better than taking Wishbone for a nice long walk on a brisk autumn day. Even if Wishbone has to do it himself. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me. Hello, Oakdale! It's late October, and everything seems just a little different. I can't put my nose on it, but something strange is in the air. Something chilling. What could it be? Leaves are learning to dance. Sheets are learning to fly. And pumpkins are suddenly growing faces. No doubt about it. There is something in the air. Something that makes people do the strangest things. <laughs> something... Uh-oh. Closed door, closed door, closed door. Wishbone, where did you come from? Uh, Ellen! New recipe? Ooh. Wishbone, where have you been? The very first day of practice and you weren't there. It's bad luck, especially today. Bad luck? Me? I, do you smell that? What's so important about Wishbone being at practice? He always comes to practice. He should have been there. It's a bad sign. I don't want to jinx the season. Hey, ooh, something definitely reeks in this vicinity. Your father was the same way. He was so superstitious about the start of basketball season. I remember one time when he... What, what is that smell? What smell? I think I found the culprit, Alan. Joe, there's something in your shoe! Joe, what is that? Sorry, Mom. They're my practice socks, my lucky ones. Ew! Didn't I bury these last year? Well, I, I think it's a little much, Joe. Um, but since they are so special, why don't you take them off and put them in a special place, outside the house? I will, but right now, I need to pick out a new basketball. You do? Yeah. We've already started practice, Mom. I can't start a new season without a new ball. It's bad luck. Of course. I forgot. Oh, I've still got my birthday money. Besides, I want to check out the new sporting goods store in town. Come on, Wishbone. But Joe, she could drop another cookie at any moment. Uh, Joe, have you decided if you're going trick-or-treating tonight? Uh, treating? Ooh, I vote we go for the treats. I don't think so. I'll probably just stay home. Come on, Wishbone. But it's cookies... Uh, okay. Ha-ha! <laughs> Throw a long one, Joe! Woohoo! Look, ta -da! You're right, Joe. This is as much fun as eating cookies. Almost. Yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it! Wishbone! Wait! No! Haha, <laughs> I have you now, Mr. Ball! <laughs> What have we here? Wishbone! That's a cat. Come on, boy! See, it's a... Hey. What? Where the... Wishbone! You didn't see where that cat went, did you, Joe? Come on. Let's get out of here. I don't like this place. Hmm? Hmm. Bad. Bad. <laughs> You're right, Joe. A place like this can play tricks on your mind. Some places can do that. They cast a spell over you. A spell like the one that hung over a place called Sleepy Hollow. Way back in 1819, American author Washington Irving wrote a short story called The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The story was set in the quiet hills along the Hudson River, not long after the American Revolution. Those who lived there agreed that anyone who lingered in that drowsy, dreamy glen called Sleepy Hollow would inhale the witching influence of the air and begin to hear strange sounds and see frightful apparitions. The most famous of these apparitions was the ghost of a soldier whose head was taken off by a cannonball during the Revolutionary War. 
legend has it that the spirit of this headless horseman rides forth each night in search of his head. The local residents took great pleasure in these stories, but none took greater pleasure than the local school teacher, one Ichabod Crane. <coughs> uh, uh, now, class, it is very important to know the difference between knowledge and useless information. Oh, if only young Jebediah had known that after you break a mirror, you must walk in a circle to reverse your bad luck. Clockwise, mind you. Uh, not to be confused with a black cat crossing your path. Then you must circle counterclockwise like this. Oh, uh, twice on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Andrew? Excuse me, Mr. Crane. The mother wanted to know if you could come over and finish the story about the secret of the full moon. She made your favorite apple pie. Ooh, apple pie, you say? Well, of course I'll be there, Andrew. Your mother's apple pie is the absolute finest in the county. I recall one Sunday when she... Oh, uh, yes. Uh, where were we? <clears throat> uh, now then, eyes front, everyone. Uh, who here knows why we ring a bell mm, to begin each day? Uh, yes, Elizabeth. To call us into the classroom? No, no, not at all. We ring the bell to drive away demons and spirits. Why do you think I wear this bell on my vest? Hmm? Wait here, Wishbone. I won't be long. Yeah, but how come you always get to go in... <gasps> Dog toys! I think I found the perfect one! But I better try them all just to be sure. <laughs> so, another victim of the haunted rim. I guess I'm a little off today. Hey, it happens, but there's nothing like the thrill of being in the zone. You know, where the hoop looks three feet wide and everything you toss up goes in the basket. I'm sure you'll be there again. Uh, my name's uh, Travis Del Rio. What's Hi, yours? I'm Joe Talbot. Nice to meet you, Joe. Do you smell something? Well, Joe, what can I do for you? Joe, can I have some tennis balls? Just all the yellow ones. Hey, is that your dog? Uh, yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'll take him outside. Uh, right no, away. no, it's okay. I like dogs. Uncle Travis! We need help with our costumes. Melina, Marcus, I want you to meet someone. Uh, Joe, this is my niece, Melina, and my nephew, Marcus. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Wishbone. Have you guys seen the tennis balls yet? Something smells funny. It's not the dog. Joe, you want to handle that one? So are you guys getting ready to go trick-or-treating tonight? No, better. Uncle Travis is letting us see. Marcus, uh, why don't you go uh, pick up those tennis balls and put them back, okay? Have you signed up for the scavenger hunt yet? What scavenger hunt? Hey, if you like my haunted rim, you'll love my scavenger hunt. Yeah, it's the best Halloween treat in Oakdale. Absolutely, and the first prize is a $100 gift certificate. Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, it's gonna be fun. I'm sure there's still room on one of the teams. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's your lucky day. You already signed up on uh, Samantha Kepler's team. I am? Kepler, doesn't her father own that pizza place? Yeah, Pepper Pete's. Look, Mr. Del Rio, I'm really not sure about the scavenger hunt. Don't worry, Joe. What is that smell? My socks. You'll think this is strange, but I always wear the same pair of socks at practice. For good luck. Say no more, Joe. Those shoes are behind glass for a reason. Hey, Joe, can Wishbone do any tricks? Tricks? That depends. Got any treats? Now me, I'm always ready for treats. But I know one guy whose appetite for the supernatural was even greater than his appetite for food. 
Remember that Ichabod Crane loved ghost stories. He would spend hours reading Cotton Mather's History of New England Witchcraft. Oh, how terribly frightening. Uh, um. ah! Oh, oh, no! oh, don't hurt me! My, you're a jumpy fellow. What? Oh, <laughs> yes. How do you do? My name is Ichabod Crane. You must be the school teacher. I'm Katrina Van Tassel. Uh, Van Tassel, you say? Uh, of the Van Tassel farm? Why, yes. Uh, that really big farm? Yes. I mean, the really, really, really big farm? Yes, that's it. I was just... I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Van Tassel. Why, thank you. We're so lucky to have such a learned and sophisticated gentleman as you in our midst. <laughs> What are you reading there, Mr. Crane? Ah, yes. Uh, this is Mather's book of witchcraft in New England. Most fascinating. It must be quite exciting. Oh, yes, it is. In fact, I would love to tell you all about it. I... Oh. Oh, dear. Was that my stomach? I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Why, please, come have dinner with us, Mr. Crane, and you can tell me on the way. Why, Miss Van Tassel, what a marvelous idea. Shall we go? And of course, I picked up the occasional ghost story before I settled here in Sleepy Hollow. Oh, are we here? This is quite a place you have here. Hmm. Oh, yes. Look at all the food. One could grow quite comfortable in an environment such as this. Oh, but that was such a fine feast, Katrina. Uh, may I call you Katrina? Of course, Mr. Crane. Your family has been very lucky. Yes. An estate this size hardly seems possible in such a frightful frontier as this. Frightful? Absolutely. My studies have given me great insight into these matters. Really? Oh, considerably. You'd be surprised at the supernatural exhibitions I've witnessed. Please, tell me more. <laughs> I would be delighted to. Oh, oh, but look at the time. I, I must be going. Before dark, you know. Oh. Well, would you tell me over dinner tomorrow? Dinner tomorrow? Well, if you insist. <laughs> ah, a delightful meal and a return invitation. I think that went rather well. <gasps> What's that? Who's there? I can't be caught out after dark. They say that exercise is good for the legs. Come along, Ichabod! Okay, here we go, Joe. Big throw this time. Big throw. What is it about this day, Wishbone? First you weren't at basketball practice. And then you run into the old Murphy place. Now there's a scavenger hunt. How about a little throw? Last year on Halloween, I sprained my ankle so bad, I couldn't play basketball for a month. The year before that, I had chicken pox. Please throw the ball. This year, I think I'm just going to stay home before anything else happens. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. I... <gasps> oh, will you look at the nerve of that furball? Oh, no. It's just a cat, Joe. Come on, let's go chase him. <sighs> Joe? Joe? Mm -mm. All this talk of tricks and treats is making me hungry. Mm. Are you sure you don't need help handing out treats tonight? <gasps> treats! Ding, 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 ding! Congratulations, Joe! You just said the secret word. Ellen, tell him what he's won. I'd love to have your company, Joe, but I think I can handle it. Are you sure? It's going to be a lot of kids. Joe, the scavenger hunt will be fun. You'll be with your friends. Samantha's counting on you. You should go. Halloween's always been unlucky for me. We all wonder about our luck from time to time. Your father wondered about his every time his players started missing free throws. But he never gave up on them. He wanted them to play through it. There's no way you can predict what's going to happen tonight or on any other given day. Nobody can. If you expect the worst, though, you just might find it. 
I'm pretty sure you have a lot more fun tonight if you expect the best. I guess so. Come on, buddy. We're gonna have a great time. And don't worry, I'll keep all those black cats away from you. Joe's gonna show up? I think so. Oh, hi, Joe. Hey, guys. Hey. Great costumes. Thanks. Glad you came. Wishbone, where's your costume? Huh? A dog wears silly costumes? <laughs> I think not. Nice costume, Calvin. Hey, Demont. What are you supposed to be? Your worst nightmare. Are you here to watch me win that gift certificate? Yeah, we're gonna win, because I used to go on scavenger hunts all the time. Can it, Jimmy? You may be my cousin, but you're only here because my mom made me bring you. Jimmy, what are you dressed as? I'm an alien, but not the kind from the movies. This is what they really look like. A friend of mine got abducted by them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, maidens and monsters, are you ready for the Oakdale Sports and Games first annual scavenger hunt? Now, this is no ordinary scavenger hunt. On this quest, you'll have to be quick-witted as well as quick-footed. Now, here are the rules. There are five teams. Each team will receive one of these and one of these. I can't see! What is it? Oh, what a time to be short! And each one are clues that will lead you to your first challenge. Now, once there, you must solve a puzzle to move ahead. Your chances to advance will get tougher with each challenge until only two teams remain to take the most chilling challenge of all. And the prize, a $100 gift certificate at Oakdale Sports and Games. All right. Not everyone can win, but don't worry, there'll be plenty of consolation prizes. Now, if the team captains would raise their hands, we'll pass out the first clue. Now, uh, good luck and be careful. You never know what kind of ghoulish surprises you'll find on a night like this. <laughs> feel lucky? Don't be surprised when I win that gift certificate. Wow! Such competition! But only one prize. Ichabod Crane sought only one prize as well. Her name was Katrina Van Tassel. However, he was not alone in his quest. Every young man in the valley wanted to impress her. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, go to the back. I was here first. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, dear boy. Uh, would you like me to tell Katrina that she cannot have her singing lessons today? She'll be most disappointed. Singing lessons? Singing lessons. Sorry. <laughs> oh, good evening, dear Katrina. I, I am terribly sorry to interrupt, but it is time for your singing lessons. Oh, of course. We'll see what Brom Bones thinks about your singing lesson. Oh, hello, Brom. Hello, Katrina. I thought I might give you the honor of my company tonight. Well, that's very sweet of you, Brom. Maybe a moonlight ride by the brook. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, but I don't believe that would be wise. Well, if it isn't Mr. Ichabod Crane. And tell me why you think that would be so unwise. Oh, uh, Katrina wouldn't be safe on such a night as this. <laughs> I'll protect her. You'll protect her. <laughs> Only a man of knowledge, not of strength, could protect her on this enchanted night. I mean, first of all, you offer her a bouquet of foxglove, a gesture bound to bring bad luck. But... And after that curse, you want to take her for a ride on a black horse? Now see here. A, a black horse tonight? Oh, it would seem that you have no concern for her safety whatsoever. You're probably just bringing her bad luck standing on her property. 
Come, Katrina, let us finish your singing lessons. everybody. I don't know about this. I better keep an eye on things. <laughs> what does it say? When a wand is transposed and Gil has more, the gypsy gallery will be easy to find. If you follow the flamingos to a deafening roar, you won't be left behind. That's all there is? What about the pumpkin? Everyone looks so weird. What? Three corks? What does transpose mean? When two things switch places. Whoa! I hope that was a mask. And who is Gil? Gil Brady? From the fifth grade? I don't think so. What does the Oakdale Chronicle have to do with it? Oh, Joe, Joe, look! Clown! Wait, look at the words. When a wand is transposed. A wand, wand day. Wanda! When Gil has more. Gilmore. Won the Gilmore. Wanda owns the Odell Chronicle. Flamingos. Let's go. Oh, hey, not without me. Welcome to the house of Wanda. Wonder what the future holds? Well, boy, howdy, have you come to the right place? Let's fire up the crystal ball. <laughs> are going to be very successful gathering candy. Show me your palm, and the luck begins now. Happy hunting. Welcome to the house of Wanda. Wanda, Wanda, mm -hmm. I don't think this comes as a surprise to anybody. So, shall we get our fortunes told? Maybe I should. <clears throat> Hey, look, the flamingos. You are going to be very successful gathering candy. This is going to be easier than I thought. What are you doing? Come on. Now, some happy hunting. Come on, Jeff. I'll just wait outside. You're not scared, are you? It's okay, Joe. You don't have to. No. We do this together. We're a team. I'd just be bad luck. <sighs> Come on. Don't worry, Joe. I'll stand watch. Besides, I've been in Wanda's house once, and once was enough. Wow. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Hey, look! All four. That means we're the first team here. It looks like one of them falls when you hit the right target. But how do we know which one? We only have three shots. Just call me Wishbone the Watchdog. No. <gasps> hey! No cat crosses my territory twice in one day! Come here! If you follow the flamingos to a deafening roar, you won't be left behind. Well, we followed the flamingos, but what do we shoot? Deafening roar. Try the tiger. Great, Sam. It was a lucky shot. Uh, guys, it wasn't that lucky. Nothing happened. I don't get it. Wait, look, over in the corner. A lion. We only have one shot left. Okay. Careful, Sam. You've got to time it just right.
Great shot, Sam. Nice shooting. Thanks for solving the riddle for me. Cheating takes all the fun out of it, DeMont. Yeah, well, I'll have plenty of fun with that gift certificate. Yeah, we'll have plenty of fun with that gift. Jimmy. Wishbone? Where'd he go? Maybe he went home. We don't have much time. DeMont's right behind us. I'm not going without Wishbone. You better find him quickly, then. I think your luck just ran out. I wonder how far DeMont is. I don't know. Was he there? No. I knew I should have stayed home tonight. Now what do we do? We're losing time. That's him. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come on down. Good kitty. Come on. Hey, I can't do that. No fair. Wishbone. Hey, don't worry, Joe. I took care of him for you. Did you see him run? I scared him off. Great. Now we can finish. Okay, here it is. Follow Dart to the Derby, where the thoroughbreds and mixed breeds meet. If you don't want to lose, then you must choose an enchantress light on her feet. A racetrack? In Oakdale? The only Dart I know is the Dart Animal Clinic. That's it. Where thoroughbreds and mixed breeds meet. Let's go. Animal clinic? Oh, no. Not me. You guys go ahead. I'll stay here. Come on, Joe. You guys are up for this. I'm not. Besides, I should take Wishbone in the house anyway. Look, Joe, we're not splitting up the team. Yeah. Come on. Guys. Come on, Wishbone. No, no, Joe, you're completely right. We should go in the house. Oh, boy. There's no place like home. And once you found it, you really don't want to leave it. Now, Ichabod Crane definitely found the place where he wanted to be. Katrina's farm. And he was doing his best to win her heart. So the witch cast a spell over the whole town? Hmm? What? Oh, oh, yes. Uh, she absolutely did. In fact, the spell was never broken. Until... Mr. Crane, you must come quickly. There's been a frightful event at the schoolhouse. Yes, Ichabod. We need someone of your higher learning to handle this. Uh, w what has happened? Uh, you must come and see this mysterious event with your own eyes, Mr. Crane. Uh, don't worry, Ichabod. I'll stay here and protect Katrina. I'm sure it can wait until morning. Maybe you should go. I know that you're the only man qualified to inspect the scene. Oh, well, that is true. All right. I'll go. Now then, what is so important that it couldn't wait until morning? <gasps> oh no. A poltergeist has moved through here. A what? A, a, a poltergeist. A ghost. A spirit. Things are no longer safe here. Oh, this is an omen of terrible things to come, I'm sure of it. This is a bad sign for Sleepy Hollow. Things are taking a turn for the worse. Huh. Okay, Wishbone. You can do this. It's just the animal clinic. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, easy stomach. Wishbone. Oh, okay. Do it for Joe. Do it for Joe. <laughs> Come on, Wishbone. I hope you appreciate this, Joe. I'm only in here because you need me. And if I see one needle, I am out of here. You ready? Yeah. <sighs> Let's get this over with. I can't breathe in here. Who's left? It means DeMont's ahead of us. What is it? What is it? Welcome to Derby Days. Today's horses are Galloping Goblin, Flying Sorceress, Witch's Broomstick, and Glue Factory. You have
have 30 seconds to choose the winning horse. We have to pick a horse. Quick, let's read the clue again. Follow Dart to the Derby, where the thoroughbreds and mixed breeds meet. If you don't want to lose, then you must choose an enchantress light on her feet. Enchantress. Witch. It must be Witch's broomstick. No, wait. Read the last part. You now have 15 seconds to choose the winning horse. You must choose an enchantress light on her feet. See, light on her feet. Witch is flying the broomstick. No, it says pick the enchantress, not a broom. Flying sorceress. Could someone please pick up the cute little dog so he can see? You must choose your horse in five, four, three, two. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Who's winning? Put up. Who's winning? Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, push it. Come on, it's going. Come on. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on. The winner is Flying Sorcerer. All right, we won. What did we win? What does it say? It says. Every year when the leaves are green, Jackson's Carnival can be seen. Purple, red, yellow, and blue, which of these would you pursue? Oh, that's an easy one! Jackson's Carnival? And look, a token. But where do we go? Every year when the leaves are green. Does it mean the Summer Carnival? In Jackson Park, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Carnival always sets up. Now what? Come on, guys. Whoa. This is incredible. There's still one left. This is awesome. Uh-oh. David's gone bye-bye. Which slot? We have to choose a color. Purple, red, yellow, and blue. Well, that narrows it down to four. I gotta get one of these. Oh, yeah. We lost him. David, we need your help. Yeah, which one? It's the orange one. What? How'd you figure that out? It's the only color on the machine that's not mentioned in the poem. He's right. Every year when the leaves are green, Jackson Carnival can be seen purple, red, yellow, and blue. Which one of these would you pursue? No orange. No, wait, let me do it. That was kind of cool. Ichabod's luck was taking a turn for the better. Katrina's family had invited him to a party. Oh, how are you? Thank you for coming. Good of you to come, Mr. Crane. Oh, thank you so much for your invitation. Where might I find your lovely Katrina? I believe she's watching guests bob for apples. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Van Tassel. We have been anxiously awaiting your party all week. And I am so glad to see you. Come in, come in. Looks like there's quite a brew stirring this evening. Oh, Katrina, what an absolutely delightful party. Why, thank you, Ichabod. Care to bob for apples? Bobbing for apples. What a delightful game. Yes, I, I think I will try, actually. Let's see. Here I go. Ow. All those hot... Ow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wonderful. I got one. I got one. <laughs> 
Hello, Brom. Would you like to try? No, I'd rather not. Oh, it's very easy, Brom. Anyone can do it. I have no desire to have an apple stuck in my mouth like a roasted pig. The... Oh, Brom, you, you really should give it a try. I mean, the Van Tassels have gone to great lengths to entertain us. How about one little bob? Ah. Ooh, let's see if I can get another one. Ah. You know, um, we're a bit overdue for another sighting of the Headless Horseman. It is that time of year again. Ooh. <laughs> ah. What say you, Ichabod Crane? Hmm? Oh, oh, I heartily agree. Uh, why, just the other evening, my schoolhouse was turned completely topsy-turvy by a poltergeist. That itself could foretell more extraordinary apparitions to come. Perhaps even the Headless Horseman. I'm tired of all of these frightful tales. Won't you come dance with me, Ichabod? Oh, uh, uh, just a moment, my dear. Uh, what are your thoughts, Brahm? It's a bunch of nonsense, if you ask me. I mean, give me something I can touch or hit if I wanted to. The spirits are just that, spirits. They can do no more harm than a summer breeze. Well, how do you explain what happened to old man Brower? The headless horseman nearly had him. Brower told me that the horseman chased him all the way to the old church bridge. Ah, Brower's a drunk. It, uh, Brom, it surprises me that a man of your stature cannot see the significance of these signs. Tell me more of Brower's story. Why? As soon as he crossed the bridge, the horseman disappeared. Ah, <gasps> yes. We must learn more about this bridge. It, it must hold some significance. You call yourself an educated man, sitting around telling fairy tales. I assure you that it is very important to learn all that you can about a spirit, so one can take the proper precautions. <laughs> I'm not here for superstitious nonsense. I'm here for the party. <laughs> While the other guests ate, drank, and danced, Ichabod delighted in spooky stories and wild speculations for hours long into the night. All right, folks. It's time for you to go to your own homes. Oh, dear. Look how late it's become. Uh, where is Katrina? She went to bed hours ago. It's uh, past midnight. <gasps> past midnight? Ooh. I'm glad I don't have to walk through Sleepy Hollow on a night like this. Say, Ichabod, don't you pass through Sleepy Hollow on your way home? Why, um, yes. Well, if anyone can handle the Headless Horseman, it's Ichabod Crane. I can? Uh, I mean, of course I can. <laughs> I think. Okay, is it me? Or did things just get really spooky? Oh no, anything but this. I'm not going in. He went in, but I'm not going in. DeMont's already in there? He's been in there an awful long time. Oh no, quick, you guys, let's go. Come on. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's haunted. The house is haunted. It's just the old Murphy place. I'm sure it's safe. It's not safe. Joe's word's good enough for me. Let's go home and have some Ellen cookies. He's right. Of course I'm right. What? I knew it. 
I told him it was haunted. I did. But he didn't listen. I told him it was probably full Jimmy, <laughs> enough, okay? What are you talking about? It happened a long time ago. The first Halloween that my mom let me go trick-or-treating without her. David and I went all over the neighborhood that night. Some kids talked about going to Thunder Road. I was the one who wanted to go. Where was I? And why don't I remember this? You were on that trip with your mom, remember? Wish one was still a puppy. And I was so cute. What happened? It was Winnie that night, too. But there was lightning. It didn't seem that bad from the street, so I walked toward the house. The closer I got, the worse it looked. And the noises, I, I didn't think I could do it. I reached out to grab the doorknob, and the... <laughs> Is it over? I've never been so scared in my life. What made you go up there in the first place? I dared him. I can't go in there. What was that? <gasps> Joe, it's the cat! Come on, we've got him trapped! Wishbone, no! I'm not going in there. Sorry, Joe. He got away from me again. Wow. Look at this place. Well, this has been fun. Can we go home? Probably just Mr. Del Rio having fun with us. Come on, Joe. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, let's just get the prize and get out of here. I think we found the tea party. Mommy sitting over there. Hey, look at this. What? It's a clue. It says the green player will show you the light. The green player? What was that? DeMont. Oh, really? All right, dumb monster. I'm ready for you. Try to scare my boy, will ya? Ready or not, I'm coming up there! Whether he was ready or not, Ichabod Crane made a lonely trip home through that bewitched place called Sleepy Hollow. Get a move on, Crane. Nothing to be afraid of. Just going for a very late walk on a very spooky evening. Uh, uh, how about a tune? Mm, perhaps not. Oh, what was that? Mm -hmm. Oh dear! <gasps> what was that? Hello? Nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> <gasps> Who, who's there? I'm safe! I'm safe! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, have you know, I'm wise to the ways of the supernatural. Now you are supposed to vanish. <laughs> you get in here? Somebody shut the door on me. Aha! It's you again! Wishbone, stop! Look, same as the others. What do we do? One down, two to go. Huh? David? Aha! Let's play Catch the Kitty! No way, Wishbone! on my nerves. Who keeps slamming doors around here? Where's David? Ah! Demont! Ha! He and Kitty should get along just fine. That's it. I've had enough. Prize or not, I'm going home. Wait! Look at the floor! It looks just like the Chinese checkers game. David! You'll never guess what I did to Demont. It says the green player will show you the light. Sam, didn't you put the marble right here? I think so. Well, look at that. I'm not the only one who buries things around here. We did it. <laughs> you did it, Joe. Because this was my lucky night. Uh, guys? Huh? What? Oh, great! Monsters! That's what was missing. You won! Did we scare you? Let me out of here. Get me out of here. What? That night. It was the cat. Come on, you guys. Uncle Travis is waiting outside. Feel better, Jeff? Now that it's over. No one knew what happened to Ichabod Crane that night. Some say he just moved away. Others say he was carried away by the Headless Horseman. Another pumpkin? Uh, this is his bell, all right. Must have been the horseman. This ought to convince old Brom Bones. Convince him of what? <laughs> whoa, 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 easy, easy. 
It couldn't have been that scary. Oh, yeah? What happened? Did you see a ghost? I bet you did. One time, a friend of mine, he went in there. Don't say anything. I'm going home. All right, good job, guys. Hey, thank you. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Congratulations, guys. Thanks, Mr. Del Rio. Yeah, thanks. That was really fun. Okay. Well, there's a party for everyone back at Oakdale Sports and Games. <laughs> Finally, I've had enough tricks for one night. Let's talk treats. Mm -mm. Hey, hey, Joe. Looks like you're back in the zone after all. <laughs> yes, sir. It was your lucky day. Must be the socks. <laughs> Must be. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we shall meet again, Kitty. How does he do that? A drowsy, dreamy influence seems to hang over the land and to pervade the very atmosphere. Some say the place was bewitched. Washington Irving used these words to describe the setting of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. To recreate this mysterious feeling on film, we called on the members of our lighting team. They used some clever tricks, a lot of equipment, and a lot of lights. Here's a 12 kilowatt light, also called a 12K. Here's a baby, and a baby baby, and a tweeny, just to name a few. The people who operate these lights are called electricians, and the top dog electrician is called the gaffer. It's a really neat feeling to be on a dark set when there are no lights and to turn on that first light. The gaffer and his lighting crew set up the lights, lay miles of cable, and hook everything up to a distribution box, which sends electricity to wherever we want it. Then the crew places the lights and add colored filters and gels for an eerie look. Huh? David? Aha! Let's play Catch the Kitty! No, wait, Wishbone! Ooh, fur raising. The grip crew is a very important part of the lighting team. The top dog grip is called the key grip. He and his crew add patterns to change the way the light falls and to make shadows. On Sleepy Hollow, we created our own moonlight by putting a 12,000 watt light up about 80 feet in the air in a condor. And then to break up that light, we took camouflage net, put them up in a scissor lift about 40 feet in the air to move those around to make these patterns on the front of the house. We're just going to dapple the Murphy house and we're going to do lightning effects. The script indicated a lot of lightning, so we rented a special light called a lightning strikes. It's easy. You plug it in and push a button. So with a combination of lights, shadows, and some special equipment, we can make a bewitching atmosphere. Shine your light on a good mystery. Check one out at your local library. 